Exciting news awaits Canadian seniors as the government continues to strengthen its commitment to providing financial security through the combined benefits of Old Age Security OIAs and the Canada Pension Plan CPP. With potential payments of up to $1,500 being deposited directly into your bank account, these programs represent more than just financial assistance, they're a recognition of your lifelong contribution to building our great nation. This comprehensive support system ensures that Canadian seniors can maintain their dignity and quality of life throughout their retirement years. The Old Age Security Program stands as a cornerstone of Canada's retirement income system, offering universal benefits to seniors who meet the basic eligibility requirements. Unlike many other government programs, OAS isn't based on your employment history or contributions, it's a recognition of your role in Canadian society. For seniors aged 65 and older who meet the residency requirements, these monthly payments provide a reliable source of income that helps cover basic living expenses and maintains financial stability during retirement. To qualify for OAS, you need to have reached the age of 65 and be either a Canadian citizen or a legal resident at the time your pension application is approved. Additionally, you must have resided in Canada for at least 10 years after turning 18. The beauty of this system lies in its inclusivity whether you've worked in formal employment or dedicated your life to raising a family or volunteer work, always acknowledges your contribution to Canadian society. For the 2024 tax year, eligible seniors can receive up to $687.56 per month through OAs, with the exact amount depending on their years of residency in Canada and income level. Understanding the income testing aspect of OAs is crucial for financial planning. The program includes what's commonly known as the recovery tax or clawback, which ensures that benefits are directed to those who need them most. In 2024, if your annual net income exceeds $86,912, you'll need to repay 15 cents of every dollar above this threshold. This gradual reduction continues until the full OAS is eliminated when income reaches $141,917. This structured approach helps maintain the program's sustainability while ensuring support for seniors with moderate and lower incomes. Complementing the OAS, the Canada Pension Plan represents another vital pillar of retirement income for Canadian seniors. Unlike OS, CPP is directly linked to your working years and the contributions you've made throughout your career. Throughout your working life, you and your employers have contributed to this plan, building a foundation for your retirement security. The CPP provides a monthly retirement pension that reflects your lifetime earnings and contributions, ensuring that your working years continue to benefit you in retirement. The amount you receive from CPP varies based on several factors, including your contribution history and the age at which you begin receiving benefits. For 2024, the maximum monthly CPP retirement pension at age 65 is $1,306.57, though the average amount received by new beneficiaries typically hovers around $717.15. This flexibility in the CPP system allows you to start receiving benefits as early as age 60 with a reduction in monthly payments, or you can choose to delay until age 70 and receive increased monthly benefits. When combining OAS and CPP benefits, eligible seniors can receive substantial monthly payments that provide a strong foundation for financial security and retirement. This combination of benefits reflects Canada's comprehensive approach to supporting its senior population ensuring that those who have contributed to the country's growth and development can enjoy their retirement years with dignity and financial stability. The direct deposit system makes receiving these benefits convenient and secure. Once your applications are approved, payments are automatically deposited into your bank account on scheduled dates throughout the year. This reliable payment system eliminates concerns about lost or delayed checks and ensures that you have access to your funds when you need them. The process of setting up direct deposit is straightforward and can be arranged through Service Canada with basic banking information. For seniors with lower incomes, additional support is available through the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIs. This tax-free monthly benefit supplements the OIS pension and provides extra financial support to seniors who need it most. Single seniors can receive up to $1,024.08 monthly while couples may be eligible for up to $616.31 each per month. These supplementary benefits demonstrate Canada's commitment to ensuring that all seniors have access to the resources they need for a dignified retirement. The CPP also offers additional benefits through its post-retirement benefit PRB program. 
If you continue working while receiving CPP retirement benefits, your continued contributions create additional benefits that are added to your regular CPP pension. Each year of contribution increases your monthly payment, providing an incentive for those who choose to remain active in the workforce during their retirement years. For seniors aged 60 to 60 to 64 who may need additional support, the allowance and allowance for the survivor programs provide extra assistance. These benefits are available to spouses or common-law partners of GI's recipients and can provide up to $1,297.99 monthly. The allowance for the survivor offers up to $1,556.51 monthly for eligible widowed individuals, ensuring that those who have lost their partners receive the support they need during this transitional period. Managing these benefits effectively requires understanding their tax implications and planning accordingly. While CPP benefits and OS payments are considered taxable income, these payments are tax-free. This distinction is important for financial planning and tax preparation. Many seniors find it beneficial to work with financial advisors who can help them optimize their retirement income and minimize their tax burden through strategies such as pension income splitting and strategic use of tax-free savings accounts TFSAS. The timing of when you begin receiving benefits can significantly impact your monthly payments. With CPP, starting benefits before age 65 results in a reduction of 0.6% for each month before your 65th birthday, potentially reducing your pension by up to 36% if you start at age 60. Conversely, delaying CPP until after age 65 increases your pension by 0.7% for each month of delay, up to a 42% increase if you wait until age 70. This flexibility allows you to align your benefits with your personal financial situation and retirement plans. Regular cost of living adjustments ensure that these benefits maintain their value over time. Both OAAs and CPP payments are indexed to inflation, with adjustments made quarterly for OAAs and annually for CPP. These adjustments help protect seniors from the erosion of their purchasing power due to rising costs of living, ensuring that the benefits continue to provide meaningful support throughout retirement. The application process for these benefits has been streamlined to make it as simple as possible for seniors. For OAs, it's recommended to apply six months before your 65th birthday to ensure timely processing and payment initiation. CPP applications should be submitted three months before you want payments to begin. Both applications can be completed online through My Service Canada account, by mail using printed forms, in person at a Service Canada office, or by phone with Service Canada representatives. Required documentation for these applications typically includes your social insurance number, birth certificate or valid passport, banking information for direct deposit, and proof of your residency history in Canada. If you're married or in a common law relationship, you may also need to provide your partner's information and documentation. Having these documents organized and readily available helps ensure a smooth application process. Payment schedules for OAs and CPP follow a regular pattern with deposits typically made in the last week of each month. The specific dates are published in advance, allowing you to plan your finances accordingly. These predictable payment schedules, combined with direct deposit, provide peace of mind and help with budgeting and financial planning. Financial security in retirement extends beyond just receiving government benefits. Many seniors find it helpful to create a comprehensive financial plan that incorporates their OAAs and CPP payments alongside other sources of retirement income. This might include workplace pensions, registered retirement savings plan RRSP withdrawals, tax-free savings account TFSA withdrawals, and investment income. A balanced approach to managing these various income sources can help ensure long-term financial stability. It's also important to stay informed about changes to these benefit programs and protect yourself from potential scams targeting seniors. Government communications about OAAS and CPPP will never ask for personal banking information or passwords by email or phone. All legitimate correspondence will come through official channels, and any changes to your benefits will be communicated in writing through secure means. Community resources and support services are available to help seniors navigate these benefits and maintain their financial well-being. Senior centers, financial literacy programs, and peer support groups can provide valuable information and assistance. Many communities also offer legal aid services and financial counseling specifically designed for seniors, helping them make informed decisions about their benefits and overall financial planning. As you receive these benefits, regular reviews of your situation can help ensure you're maximizing your entitlements. 
Changes in your personal circumstances, such as the loss of a spouse or significant changes in income, may affect your benefit amounts or eligibility for additional support. Keeping Service Canada informed of any relevant changes helps ensure you receive the correct benefit amounts and avoid any potential overpayments that would need to be repaid. Estate planning consideration should also be part of your overall financial strategy. This includes designating beneficiaries for any remaining benefits, arranging power of attorney for financial matters, and ensuring your will is up to date. While OA's benefits end upon death, there may be survivor benefits available through CPP for your spouse or common law partner, making it important to understand and plan for these possibilities. The combination of OAs and CPP benefits represents Canada's strong commitment to supporting its senior citizens. With potential payments of up to $1,500 monthly, these programs provide a foundation for financial security in retirement. Understanding your benefits, planning carefully, and staying informed allows you to make the most of these valuable resources and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with financial stability in your golden years. These benefits are not just government payments, they're a recognition of your lifetime contribution to Canada's prosperity. Whether you've worked in paid employment, raised a family, volunteered in your community, or contributed to society in other ways, these benefits acknowledge your role in building our nation. They represent our collective commitment to ensuring that all seniors can live with dignity and security in their retirement years. The impact of these benefits extends beyond individual recipients to strengthen entire communities. When seniors have reliable income support, they can remain active participants in their communities, contributing to local economies and social networks. This financial stability allows seniors to maintain their independence, engage in meaningful activities, and continue contributing to the vibrant fabric of Canadian society. As our population ages and more Canadians enter retirement, these benefit programs continue to evolve and adapt. Regular reviews and adjustments ensure that the programs remain sustainable while meeting the changing needs of Canadian seniors. Your engagement with these programs, whether through applying for benefits, providing feedback, or staying informed about changes, helps strengthen this vital support system for current and future generations of Canadian seniors. Living in retirement should be a time of comfort and security, and understanding how to maximize your government benefits plays a crucial role in achieving this goal. The integration of OIAs and CPP benefits provides a robust foundation for financial stability, but there are numerous strategies and considerations that can help you make the most of these programs. For many seniors, these monthly payments become the cornerstone of their retirement income, supporting everything from basic living expenses to leisure activities that enrich their golden years. The importance of timing cannot be overstated when it comes to applying for these benefits. While the standard age for beginning OAS benefits is 65, you have the option to defer your OAS pension for up to five years. For each month you delay receiving your OAS pension, the monthly payment amount increases by 0.6%, resulting in a maximum increase of 36% if you wait until age 70. This deferral option can be particularly beneficial for seniors who are still working or have other sources of income and want to maximize their future benefit payments. Similarly, the flexibility in CPPP timing allows for personalized retirement planning. The decision of when to start receiving CPP benefits can have significant long-term implications for your financial security. While you can start receiving CPP as early as age 60 with a reduced benefit, waiting until after age 65 can substantially increase your monthly payments. The enhancement rate of 0.7% per month means that delaying CPP until age 70 can result in payments that are 42% higher than what you would receive at age 65. This decision should be based on various factors, including your health, financial needs, and other sources of income. For couples, strategic planning becomes even more important as they coordinate their benefits to maximize household income. Pension sharing can be an effective way to reduce the overall tax burden while ensuring both partners have access to retirement income. CPP pension sharing allows couples to split their CPP retirement pensions, which can lead to tax savings if one partner is in a higher tax bracket. This arrangement doesn't change the total amount of CPP benefits received, but can result in more favorable tax treatment for the household. The interaction between various government benefits requires careful consideration. For example, if you're receiving both OAAs and GIs, earning additional income from CPP or other sources could affect your GIs entitlement. 
Understanding these interactions helps you make informed decisions about when to start receiving different benefits and how to structure your retirement income to maximize your overall financial position. International aspects of these benefits are particularly relevant for seniors who have lived or worked in other countries. Canada has social security agreements with many nations, which can help you qualify for benefits based on your combined contributions to both countries' pension systems. If you've lived or worked abroad, it's worth investigating whether these agreements could affect your eligibility or benefit amounts. Healthcare considerations often intertwine with retirement benefits planning. While OAAs and CPP provide income support, many seniors also need to plan for healthcare expenses not covered by provincial health insurance. Some provinces offer senior-specific healthcare benefits or drug coverage programs that complement federal retirement benefits. Understanding how these various programs work together can help you better prepare for healthcare costs in retirement. The digital transformation of benefit management has made it easier for seniors to track and manage their benefits. Through my Service Canada account, you can view your payment information, update your personal information, and access tax slips online. This digital access provides convenience and security, allowing you to monitor your benefits and make changes when necessary without having to visit a Service Canada office in person. Emergency preparedness is another aspect of financial planning that seniors should consider. While regular OAAs and CPP payments provide steady income, having an emergency fund remains important. Unexpected expenses can arise, and having readily accessible savings can provide peace of mind and financial security beyond your regular benefit payments. Financial advisors often recommend maintaining an emergency fund equivalent to several months of living expenses, even in retirement. The role of community support networks shouldn't be overlooked when managing retirement benefits. Local senior centers often offer workshops and information sessions about government benefits, and many communities have volunteer tax preparation services specifically for seniors. These resources can help you stay informed about program changes and ensure you're taking full advantage of available benefits and tax credits. Investment strategies often need to be adjusted as you begin receiving government benefits. The predictable income from OAs and CPP can provide a foundation that allows for more flexible investment approaches with other retirement savings. Some seniors choose to maintain a more conservative investment portfolio, knowing they have reliable government benefits as a backup, while others might feel comfortable taking calculated risks with their investments to potentially generate additional income. Housing decisions can significantly impact how far your benefit payments can stretch. Many seniors consider downsizing or relocating to areas with lower living costs to make their retirement income go further. Some provinces offer property tax deferrals or grants for seniors, which can help reduce housing costs and make your benefit payments more effective in covering other expenses. Transportation needs and costs should also be factored into retirement planning. While OAAs and CPP provide income support, many communities offer senior discounts on public transportation or specialized senior transportation services. Being aware of these options can help you budget your benefit payments more effectively and maintain your mobility and independence. Social engagement remains vital in retirement, and having reliable income from OAs and CPP can support participation in community activities and social programs. Many communities offer senior-specific programs and activities at reduced costs, recognizing the importance of staying active and engaged in retirement. Your benefit payments can help cover these activities, contributing to a more fulfilling retirement lifestyle. The impact of inflation on fixed incomes makes the indexing of OAs and CPP benefits particularly valuable. While the quarterly adjustments to OAs and annual adjustments to CPP help maintain purchasing power, it's still important to consider how rising costs might affect your long-term financial security. Some seniors choose to supplement their government benefits with inflation-protected investments or additional income sources to provide extra protection against rising costs. Technology can be both a help and a challenge for seniors managing their benefits. While online services offer convenience, it's important to maintain security when accessing benefit information electronically. Using strong passwords, being cautious about sharing personal information, and regularly monitoring your accounts can help protect your financial security. Service Canada and other government agencies provide resources to help seniors safely navigate online services. End-of-life planning, while not a pleasant topic, is an important consideration in benefit management. Understanding how benefits may be affected by death and what survivor benefits are available can help ensure your loved ones are protected. 
CPP offers survivor benefits to eligible spouses and dependent children, and proper planning can help ensure these benefits are accessed when needed. The role of financial literacy in retirement cannot be understated. Many organizations offer financial education programs specifically designed for seniors, helping them understand how to manage their benefits effectively and make informed financial decisions. These programs often cover topics like budgeting, fraud prevention, and investment basics, providing valuable tools for managing retirement income. Volunteering and part-time work can supplement your government benefits while keeping you active and engaged in your community. Understanding how additional income might affect your benefits, particularly if you're receiving GIs, helps you make informed decisions about post-retirement work opportunities. Many seniors find satisfaction in continuing to contribute to their communities while managing their benefit payments effectively. Changes in family circumstances, such as divorce or remarriage, can affect your benefits and require careful consideration. Understanding how these life changes might impact your benefit entitlements helps you make informed decisions and ensure your financial security is maintained through major life transitions. Service Canada provides guidance on how various life events affect benefit payments and what steps need to be taken to update your benefit information. The interconnected nature of various senior benefits requires ongoing attention to changes in programs and policies. Staying informed about program updates, new benefits, or changes to existing benefits helps ensure you continue to receive all the support you're entitled to. Regular reviews of your benefit arrangements, perhaps with the help of financial advisors or government benefit specialists, can help optimize your retirement income and maintain your financial security through your retirement years.